Now, it's pretty weird that McLean's Magazine gives a regular column to Scott Gilmore to write about federal politics when his wife is a liberal cabinet minister. Don't, don't you think that's weird? I do. But McLean's has been little more than a liberal propaganda organ for years. I'm not surprised they get more than a million dollars a year from Justin Trudeau for editorial grants. Do you see it right there? 1.5 million. How could they not suck up to the man who pays them 1.5 million a year? But the thing is, just like Scott Gilmore is wrong that conservatives love carbon taxes and open borders, McLean's is wrong when they think their readers love Scott Gilmore or other liberal shills. So, and I say this with no joy, but no one is reading McLean's anymore. It is slowly going out of business. They have laid off most of their staff. And I'm not sure if they even do a print edition anymore, but that's fine. You, you'll still be able to get the same 10-year-old McLean's editions at your dentist's waiting room, as always. My point is, nobody is buying what they are selling other than Trudeau.